Hi, welcome again. Today we're going to talk about budgeting your streaming services. This is a little plan that I like to follow and it kind of breaks everything down into cheap, not cheap, ads, no ads, and bundles. Yes, there is a bundle. So to get started, what I like to look at first when I'm budgeting a streaming service, I know most of you are going to go, hey, when the new Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon starts, Scott, I'm getting max. I don't care what the budget says. I understand. That's a good way to look at it. Some of you football fans, you're jumping down here to YouTube TV. Where is YouTube TV? There it is. YouTube TV. Got tons of football action. Boo-boo. Tons of football action. I understand. The NFL Network. Sunday ticket. Yep. I know. But for regular streaming, just when you're not really cheating that much, you're just kind of looking to budget, get a couple of services, talk to the family, what did everyone want? That's what I'm talking about. Do you want ads? Do you want no one wants ads? But it's getting so expensive now. New thing, October the 12th, Hulu with no ads is going to go up. Hey, Nico, you helping? Okay. From $14.99 to $17.99 a month. That's right. And you knocked over my little thing again. I know. You did that last time. That's okay. $17.99 a month. They're making us pay and get ads. It's going to be a fact. So you can't get around it. They're going to make it so expensive that you're not even going to want ads. But if you can afford it, get no ads. Or if you want to splurge on one or two services that you got to have, no ads, fine. But right now we're just talking about a basic plan to kind of stick it to the cable company. Say, I can get around you. I can still get the top eight services. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And where's Little Peacock? It's way down here because these are in order of subscribers. Little Pluto, free service, is more popular than its parent company, Paramount. Paramount's losing money, Pluto's making money. Go figure, but you get a lot of Paramount stuff on here. You get a lot of CBS stuff on there. It's free. I want you all to get Pluto, Tubi. If you have a Roku or a different device that can get it, the Roku channel, their competition with this is an Apple TV layout. You can't get the Roku channel right now. That's all right, they all have something missing. It's good to have a different kind of thing, Fire and an Apple or a Roku and an Apple or something. Apple pretty much gets along with everybody because no one wants to piss off Apple. Paramount, CBS, these are your networks you want to have. You want to split some networks. My plan, a lot of it is based on the fact I have Amazon Prime shipping. That gives me Prime Video all year long. Now, some of you may or may not have this. Some of you may wait till December to get this, which is great. That'll be part of your streaming budget. You start with the must-haves at certain times of the year. There's something like you found out that Paramount might be playing, having a couple football games. You're like, really? Amazon's got a Thursday night football game, but they're all bidding for it. Max is gonna have some sports. Everyone's gonna have some sports. So this fall, we'll kind of keep an eye out for what they've got in sports. And you might be able to follow it on a regular, one of the big eight streaming services, as opposed to getting these live services. Get an antenna, you can watch all sorts of free stuff. Nothing to it. But Pluto to be. Oh, somebody moved. What is going on? Where did my remote go, Nico? Did you move it for me? Okay, this is not what we're talking about today. Crackle and Freebie. Grab at least those. Okay? They're free. You can watch anytime you want. Movies, TV shows, a lot of stuff on there. Just splurge. Okay? Now, the budget. If you've got Prime Video, which I do, this is how I do it, maybe you can get one more thing for a year. Now, a year is pretty expensive. A lot of these things hit you at 100 and some bucks for a year, right? Apple TV, still no commercials. $69.99 right now, $6.99 a month. That's a cheap. $69.99, not a lot of deep shows and movies. But all high quality stuff. I mean, Netflix got 8,000 things, but a lot of it sucks. So it's not even worth looking at. But if you have ever gone through Netflix, like boom, 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 can't find anything to watch, let me try something else. 
You know what I mean? And I know you've gone through Disney Plus going, I can't find anything to watch unless you're a kid. Then you found everything to watch. In Europe, who, the who, version of Hulu called Stars is already mixed into Disney Plus. They're getting ready to do that here. But they say originally it's going to be charged separate, but it'll be in the Disney app. And then eventually they'll merge, but they'll jump the price up when they do that. So right now we're just talking about the months you get Disney, you get Hulu at the same time. They want you to have the same passwords now, in case you haven't had Hulu in a long time, and the same login for Disney, Hulu, Marvel, if you're a comics fan, all that will be the same password. So get, get that organized, get that ready, if you're gonna get it. And, and if, if you just saw Secret Invasion, it wasn't really worth waiting week after week after week after week, and you're like, it was all right, and that's it. I could have waited two months. My theory is two months is great on all these rotations. You get something like what, Netflix, which has everything, and a little Peacock, which doesn't have everything. It doesn't have a lot of stuff, but occasionally it has stuff, and it's network. It's NBC, so you got a network. You get those the same month. You've got a Paramount and a Max. A lot of good stuff. Got your DC content, your Taylor Sheridan shows. The guy that created Yellowstone, if you don't know, but Yellowstone's currently on Peacock, if you didn't know that. But all his other shows are on Paramount Plus. You got Star Trek, you got the Mission Impossible movies. We just started rewatching from number one, we're gonna watch about once a week, just catch a new Mission Impossible. Cool. The Godfather stuff's there. I mean, it's all good. But you could get this for $69.99 a year and have these two for a whole year if you want to spend that kind of money. Or $6.99, just throw it in whenever you feel like it. And you got a lot of good content. A lot of good content. So we've got one month Netflix, Peacock. Next month, maybe Max and Paramount, right? And the next month, Hulu and Disney and whatever else you want to throw in there. You want to throw in some stars, you want to see Outlander. Outlander's great on stars. It's on Netflix, but you're two seasons behind. My wife will not buy stars because she's stubborn and she was waiting the two seasons, not two weeks, two seasons behind. She's waiting the two seasons. I said, good. I said, I'm, I'm asking you guys to wait two months. And if you sell Secret Invasion, you're like, really? I could have waited two months. I could have seen this later. You could get House of the Dragon. I mean, as soon as it premieres, you're probably going to be all over it because every time you go on YouTube, you're going to be like, hey, and this is free. Everybody get this. This is the most popular app on your TV. But you might be on YouTube and it says so-and-so, you know, got burned up by the dragon. And you're like, oh, man, I didn't want to know that early. So, so I know you're going to get Max early. Fine, no problem. So you see my point? And the way to start it is, in your head, during the holidays, which one do you want? Do you want Netflix Peacock? Peacock now has Bravo and it has a lot of Hallmark stuff. If it still has that by the holidays, you're going to want that. Netflix has a lot of holiday stuff. All of them really do. Disney and Max they, and Netflix all have some good holiday stuff. But if the family comes over for the holidays and the kids are around, are you got the kind of kids that you're going to need to watch Disney during the holidays, all the cousins and things? Or they go okay with Netflix and some Hallmark stuff so you can see the Hallmark girly stuff. Yeah, that's what I call my, tell my wife it is. But I'll watch it, I'll watch it. She's watching somebody that likes to cook and solve murders, a cookie baker or something. Very, very popular series. So she's been watching that and I, I gave her a list of all the movies in order so she could watch them in order. I Googled it, looked it up. Now, or you love Star Trek and your DC stuff, you're gonna have these guys together, right? So for one month, start at the beginning of the month, set a reminder on your calendar and tell it to repeat every month. You can put it on the second and say, remind me the day before, then it'll come up the first and the second, boom. Add streaming service. On the 28th, because you gotta get February in there, cancel streaming service. And they'll probably give you the whole 30 days, you know, if you have a month. Cancel streaming service. Remind you the day before, 27th, 28th, cancel streaming service. You cancel them, boom. And you should get 30 days. You should get it at least 30 days. So then you add your next one. And your prices are like the cheap stuff with ads, Paramount 
Peacock, $5.99. Netflix and Apple, $6.99. That's not bad. Hulu currently with ads, $7.99. Now, I think that's going to stay. I'm not sure which well. It's not going to change. Disney, $7.99. And I think that's staying with ads. They don't come out ads. Amazon Prime's $9.99 if you have to get it and work it in. Max, $9.99. And the Disney Hulu bundle. Look for that, $9.99. With ads, but it's a bundle. And it's cheap that way. Now, premium stuff, Apple TV's already ad-free, still $6.99. Disney Plus goes to $10.99 and it, with no ads, and it's going to go up more. It's going to be $13.99. Hulu, $14.99, go up to $17.99 on October the 12th. Amazon, $14.99 right now. And Netflix, $15.49. You can tell we have an Alexa that works. Netflix is $15.49 for the regular plan. There is a discount plan that is $6.99. I think you get like one view, you get ads. There are some contractual things with a few shows and movies that say you cannot show our stuff with ads. So you might miss on a few things, okay? That's okay. Check it out for $6.99, check it out. If all your stuff's there, don't worry about it. Watch a few ads, call it a day. But you'd save a lot of money. Max is $15.99, but you don't get ads. So the thing I look for, your holidays. Boom, you want what for the holidays? Write that down. Just one to the year price screen, 10 on the 12th. I've got Disney Hulu, January, April, July. And I picked July because they have Shark Fest and they're cool little shark specials in July. Just me. Now, in October, Max and Paramount, February, May, August, November. Why? You put on your little list, month eight, Shark Week this year was at the very end of July. And you're like, I'm not going to watch for the one week of Shark Week because I won't catch anything. But I can watch it in August. So I put Shark Week down. So that would be Discovery Channel by itself, cheap. Or it's mixed in now with Max. So Max is August. That's how I determined August. And then Netflix and Peacock, March, June, September, December. Boom, done. You got two weeks skipping. Secret Invasion comes on, goes away. You catch it all in one big binge watch. You're good. You watch it anyway, that's all. You know, if you like Kenobi, great. If you didn't like Kenobi, if you thought the final battle was cool, great. It was cool. Andor is very good on Disney. Mandalorian is very good, but that last season was a little rocky. So that's the deal. If they want to make you see ads, fine. Get the ones that don't. They let you see ads already, and they're free. And then have your little bundles. Boom, at least two or three, or one, whatever your your schedule is. If you need one to Get, you got to get Netflix, whole family wants Netflix. Great. Occasionally, if you've got kids, you're probably getting Disney for the whole year. Probably. But you got to do a little tough love every once in a while. I did to my daughter. We dropped cable one time. She lost the Disney Channel and Nickelodeon back in the day. And she hollered. <laughs> that was a tough love, little one. So <laughs> we got them back later, but probably six months later or something like that. But I just wanted the budget. I said, no, we got, we're got we paying for too many channels. I hate cable. Really don't like it, but I'm in a neighborhood that's pushes cable. Oh, look, those are the screensavers from the Apple TV. Where are we at? Times Square in New York. You just touch the little control real lightly, and it tells you where it is. And you can whip through. See another one? That's Iceland. Isn't that nice, Times Square? They have some new ones coming in September. Beautiful screensavers. Anyway. So that's the plan. Work a plan, jot down, talk to the family, say, look, we're gonna have a two month skip. Unless you're just committed, every one of the family says, well, I want Netflix. And if you keep it eight months, 12 months, 10 months, whatever your budget is, that's great, that's your budget. With ads, no ads, if everyone whines, they want Netflix, all the kids whine, let them have some ads. They ain't got nothing else to do. They're just on their phones all day anyway. They can multitask. They can watch and text their friends. Okay? Don't worry about it.
So good budgeting. Have a great summer. See you again.